cancers by educating our own immune system into dealing with them. Now that's clearly a preferable option. We cannot deny that science has brought us much knowledge and a much better understanding of nearly anything in the known universe. However, the road toward this knowledge was quite a bumpy one, and a lot of trial and error happened before we realized what was okay and what wasn't. Today, we bring you 20 science experiments that went horribly wrong. Number one, Dorset Biological Weapon Experiment. Starting in the 1950s, the United Kingdom undertook a great deal of worrisome experimentation. One topic that people wanted to explore was how biological warfare chemicals would affect humans. Since this experiment is on our list, you can guess that something went horribly wrong. Some of the first experiments were done using weaker solutions that imitated other, more dangerous ones. These were then released in a populated area to see what would happen. Considering how wicked this sounds to us, we see that the scientists' idea of what is acceptable wasn't as modern as it later became considering that hundreds of citizens were participants in such experiments without their knowledge. But this isn't even the worst thing that was done. About 10 years later, in South Dorset, bacteria were tested in a similar way. And we can't even find the result of the study to grasp the potential damage that the citizens of this area were exposed to. Some believe that proof that something harmful was accomplished is the presence of many reported birth defects. Number two, the Little Albert. The field of psychology is especially tricky when it comes to experimentation, considering that ethics weren't as developed as they are now. Since psychological effects were often ignored, much unethical experimentation was done. The example we bring you here is the case of Little Albert, which happened in the 1920s when a famous psychologist, John Watson, tried to better understand the process of conditioning human behavior. Considering that fear is an emotion that we can clearly recognize even in babies, and that the test subject was about nine months old at the time, this is what they went with. As a way to cause fear in Albert whenever he sees a white mouse, he is frightened multiple times while this animal is present. What would happen is that the child would be given a white mouse to play with and once it got focused on it, a loud noise would be produced to cause fear. Only a few attempts of this were needed before a strong, conditioned fear was sown into this young boy. Imagine growing up with an unreasonable fear that is the result of an experiment done when you were a baby. Number three, the syphilis experiment. One of the most feared STDs in the world is syphilis. Syphilis is a disease that has troubled people for a long time. Much experimentation was done to understand the disease and potentially cure it. While we don't have an issue with exploration, the way that it was done in the 1940s is quite troublesome, considering that it is challenging to get test subjects who have already spontaneously contracted this dangerous disease. A decision was made that 1,300 people would be infected by it on purpose. As a way to see what penicillin would do and how helpful it would be once you have syphilis, some of these patients were treated with it, but only a portion. This was done so that there would be an untreated group to compare the results to. It didn't take long before those untreated patients experienced serious symptoms, and many of them lost their lives due to this unimaginably bizarre experiment. Number four, Russian sleep experiment. We're all probably aware that having a good sleep is the essence of good health. Well, in Russia in the 1940s, people decided to check and see whether this was true. Even back then, there must have been an understanding that doing something so bad to people may disturb the public. This is why it could be that these experiments were conducted in secret. Here's what we have gathered from all the stories that have accumulated through time. An experiment was done to explore the effects of extreme sleep deprivation. Five test subjects were kept awake for 15 days, and various stimulants were used to prevent them from falling asleep. They were held in a room in which enough food and water for a whole month was provided, and the effects of sleep deprivation were monitored. Everything appeared to be okay until day six, when weird behaviors started. Test subjects who were socializing stopped enjoying each other's company. There was no more chatting between the subjects, and they became more and more paranoid. Three days later, one of them broke down and started screaming so much that his vocal cords were damaged. On the 15th day, scientists got worried since they received no signals from the test subjects. They went to check what was happening and discovered 
that they resorted to cannibalism even though they had food available. All of them have clearly lost their minds to the ruthless experiment. Number 5. CIA Secret Experimentation Next, we will talk about disturbing experiments that were conducted between the 1950s and 1970s by the CIA. As a true intelligence agency, the goal of various studies that were conducted was to find a foolproof way to use mind control on people. At the very least, they aimed to find methods for extracting information out of people. Hypnosis, drugs, and various forms of torture were the means through which this goal was to be reached. Some records mention a patient who was put in a chemical coma and was exposed to depressing recordings over and over again for a whole month. There's also a lot of evidence that shows that during this time, a certain fascination with the effects of LSD was present. Even one of the scientists seems to have been drugged by LSD. The man jumped from a window, ending his life. But over 40 years later, new evidence suggested that the man had experienced injuries before this happened. This led the man's family and the public to believe this wasn't an accident at all. As if admitting guilt, even high state and CIA officials gave an apology to the family members, which leaves us wondering what else was done back then that we are unaware of. Number 6. The Thalidomide Tragedy Back in 1953, there was a very common tranquilizer drug present called thalidomide or contagan. If we lived back then, it could be quite a common choice for people who experience any form of anxiety or stress effects, or even if they had trouble falling asleep. It was often relied on as a way to make pregnancy easier for women. Even though some form of drug testing was present even then, it wasn't as perfected as it is the case today. Due to this, the drug wasn't tested on pregnant animals, especially not women. This is exactly why this experiment went terribly wrong. While the pregnant women didn't feel as if anything was wrong, the drug caused over 10,000 babies to have birth defects, and many of them were stillborn. Another creepy detail associated with this case is that considering how many victims there were of this untested drug, we even discovered specifically which sort of defect would occur depending on the week of the pregnancy in which the mother was using thalidomide. Number 7. Dr. Voronoff, The Monkey Gland Experiment The next case we bring you concerns a scientist who believed that immortality is entirely achievable if we use the right ingredients. The horrible twist comes from his idea of what this ingredient can be. Dr. Voronoff believed that monkey testicles would enable people to live endless lives. No matter how he got this idea, he thought that if monkey testicles were transplanted into humans, it could put a stop to the process of aging. He stuck with this idea for so long and did so much experimentation that in the 1920s, having such a transplantation done was reserved for the rich society. Over 500 people were injected with this miraculous immortality cure. Considering that some of them aren't alive today, we can conclude that it didn't work. Number 8. The Notorious Milgram Experiment Next, we bring you another psychological experiment that is often used as an example of something that would never be allowed to happen today. Milgram was interested in discovering how obedient humans are and how far they will go when a figure representing authority gives orders. Imagine that you are called to take part in an experiment. You enter the lab and are welcomed by scientists who, in this experiment, represent the authority. You are then given either the role of a teacher or the student. What you wouldn't be aware of is that all of those in the role of a student were actually also the ones doing the experiments, and they were placed there to act convincingly according to instructions. The teachers were placed in front of a board with a lot of buttons. These were all marked by the level of shock and pain that the student would feel if it were pressed. The voltage spanned between 15 and 450 volts. The students were then asked questions, and if they were to answer them wrongly, the teachers were instructed to administer a punishment by pressing the button. Each consecutive mistake was punished by an increased voltage. Even though the teachers couldn't see the fake students, they could hear them when they got zapped. As the voltage increased, these actors screamed and acted as if they were in pain. However, the study concluded that more than half of the respondents went as far as to press the button marked 300 volts. Number 9. 
a prison experiment goes wrong. The next experiment that went horribly wrong is sometimes referred to as the Stanford Prison Experiment. The whole idea can be understood from that name. Simply put, a psychologist wanted to see what would change in people's behavior when they were given different roles mimicking those found in prison. It was conducted in 1971, and actual students from Stanford University were used as test subjects. A facility used for the experiment was made to look like a prison, and the students were split into groups. One group was to take on the role of prisoners, and the other of prison guards. To make the experience of prisoners more like the real deal, they were to be put in a simulated prison for somewhere between two and four hours on a daily basis. The guards on the other side worked shifts and could go home when they were finished. The original plan was for this experiment to last two weeks, but as you will see, it took less time for things to go horribly wrong. Okay, now that you know the setup of the experiment, let us tell you the results. Apparently, when given power, people can work up quite an appetite for it. The prison guards showed this by becoming more and more abusive over time and treating their fellow students quite brutally. On the other hand, the prisoners became quite passive and showed signs of serious mental issues. After six days, the experiment was put to a stop due to all of this. Number 10, radiation used on prisoners. Throughout history, prisoners were often the group that scientists considered for any experimentation that volunteer subjects usually wouldn't accept. While we wouldn't be too surprised by this if it happened hundreds of years ago, the next case we will talk about has happened relatively recently. Namely, between 1963 and 1973, Dr. Carl Heller was allowed to do experimentation on prisoners of the United States prison system. The big idea that was tested was how much radiation would be enough to cause infertility. For their participation, the prisoners were provided with $5 a month. Can you believe it? $5 a month to take in the amount of radiation equal to over 2,000 X-ray scans? The purpose of these experiments was to understand how long exposure to radiation would affect people. This was considered important to understand for those who work in such an environment, including the astronauts. Number 11, TGN 1412. Drug experiment goes horribly wrong. Our understanding of how important safety is has brought us to the age where we take drug testing and experimentation so seriously that such a thing as routine drug tests aren't uncommon. And the drug that we will talk about was meant to help patients with leukemia, and what puts it on our list is that the first humans to take it had very disturbing consequences. Apparently, this drug's testing was moved to human trials too quickly, and eight guys volunteered for it. It didn't take long before the first disturbing effects were noticeable. Just an hour after they were given the drug, six of the volunteers experienced excruciating organ pain, swelling, and uncontrollable fevers. What this horrible experiment has taught us is that one can't be too careful when testing dangerous substances, even when they can mean hope for patients. Number 12, a transgender experiment. Our next story takes us to 1965, when twins Brian and Bruce were born. Since the boys had phimosis, the parents decided to have them circumcised when they were eight months old. However, a terrible mistake happened, and one of the boys received an injury from this operation. The parents were naturally traumatized by the whole event, and burdened by their decision to have the boy circumcised. This guilt could be a part of the reason why a psychologist named John Money was able to convince them that he had the perfect solution for the situation. Since the boy's genital organ was damaged, he suggested a sex reassignment surgery. After the procedure, Bruce was named Brenda, and his upbringing was adjusted so that he would be treated like a girl, while his twin brother was treated like a boy. We clearly had a lot to learn since the guy behind this horrifying experiment even claimed that it was a success. On the other hand, the boy was informed of everything at the age of 14, and he decided to call himself David, as he has always felt like a boy. Number 13, the monster study. One could conclude how horribly things went in the next experiment right from its name. The monster study earned this gruesome title due to the unacceptable methods that were used 
in the said research. It took place in 1939 when two scientists decided to explore the process of speech development and maybe even more importantly, the troubles that may occur in the process. The experiment was conducted using participants from an orphanage and over 20 children were included. The idea was that half of the children would be supported and provided positive feedback while they were learning through speech therapy sessions and the other half of the group would be treated with negative feedback. Namely, whenever their speech was being developed successfully through practicing, they were made to feel embarrassed. To do this, scientists essentially roasted the kids, and as we can imagine, this was quite heavy on the kids' psyche. The effects were so devastating that over 60 years later, as a way to pay our respect, and to acknowledge the inhumane treatment that they have been through, some of the kids from this negative feedback group were granted rewards. Number 14, Unit 731, another approach to research. We could say that throughout history, prisoners and often soldiers were in very unpleasant positions since they belonged to organizations that could offer many subjects for various types of studies. But Unit 731 is maybe one of the most horrific stories that came out of such experiences. Back in the 1930s, many horrific experiments were conducted on humans, and since the outcomes of these experiments were already expected to be quite horrific, prisoners were used as guinea pigs. Concretely, in the Japanese army, a lot of such experiments took place using Chinese prisoners. What these people were exposed to is nothing short of extremely painful torture. Many body parts were damaged or taken off of these poor souls without any sort of anesthetic aid. They were also exposed to various deadly diseases in the name of science. Even once all of this came to light, not much was done about it, and scientists who conducted these experiments even proceeded to have successful careers afterward. Number 15, the ape and the child experiment. The next experiment we bring you may seem like a cute idea. In 1931, people were trying to understand the human mind better, and animals such as chimpanzees were often used for comparison and other types of experimentation. One of these scientists came up with the thought that if we take a monkey and place it in a human home and give it all the resources and attention that a child gets, it should show more complex and advanced behavior than an ape in the jungle would have. To do this, the man brought a monkey home and raised it alongside his own son. It was the scientist's guess that there's no more natural way to provide this treatment but by actually sharing it with a human child. For nearly a year, these two primates were raised alongside each other, and this procedure was meticulously monitored to understand how the monkey would develop. While the monkey did show significant growth in the beginning, it reached a level of development that it couldn't move past. After almost a year, the monkey was removed from the home since it was believed that not much was left to learn from this experiment. However, it could also be that the child's development was put at risk, or even its well-being. Number 16. A gruesome dog head experiment. Before the 1950s, a lot of weird experimentation was happening all around the world. Russian scientists were no different, and one of them attempted quite a gruesome procedure. If you don't have a strong stomach, we suggest you skip this case. Put simply, the scientist's idea was that if our head, and please pay close attention here, only the head was provided with enough blood and oxygen and all the other substances that it gets from our body, it may not even need the rest of our body to function. The experiment was done to see if this is possible. A dog's head was placed in this described setting, and it briefly showed reactions to external stimuli, such as light pointed at its eyes or poking. Number 17. Cornelius P. Rhodes. We have talked a lot about various experiments that caused horribly wrong outcomes. Now, let us introduce you to a scientist who is truly an example of his time and circumstance, considering that he even admitted that due to his actions, people have lost lives. In 1931, this doctor was conducting clinical research with patients. He was interested in blood conditions and seems to have deeply dug into the subject. It appears that he wasn't monitored too closely considering that at one point he wrote a letter where he confessed that eight patients of his lost their lives due to his doing, and there were more who were transplanted cancer cells. This disturbing letter that he wrote triggered the public, and an investigation was necessary, the results of which discovered that there were at least 13 patients under his care who passed away 
due to unexplainable circumstances. Number 18. Stubbins' Yellow Fever Experiments Another scientist who became famous for his quite horrifying experiment is Stubbins Firth. This guy was quite devoted to experimenting with patients and himself so that he could better understand yellow fever. He did his work in the early 19th century, and the most gruesome experiments he did were performed during a yellow fever outbreak. Since we didn't know much about this disease, he was bent on being the first man to help us understand it better. The working theories of the time were that this disease was spreading through the air, but he trusted that this wasn't the case and that various bodily fluids were to blame for its spreading. In short, this guy found puke samples from yellow fever victims and used it quite disgustingly on himself. The way he has done it is to cut himself in various places and put some of the liquid in it. He also put it in his eyes and even drank examples of it. Despite pushing through all of this disturbing experimentation, he wasn't able to prove this disease spreads through bodily fluids. Number 19. A Space Shuttle Explosion The next experiment we will talk about has to do with overall human advancement in exploring space. What happened in 1986 definitely was a step back from such exploration. On this space shuttle flight, the first civilian was allowed in, and it was a school teacher who was watched by millions of people behind their TVs. Imagine the devastation that his students must have felt once they saw the Space Shuttle Challenger launch towards space but end up exploding before reaching it. Later, an investigation discovered that a piece of equipment had been the cause of this explosion. This has taught us an important lesson, and it took NASA two years to analyze the results of this unexplained and horrifying experience before they would attempt new flights to space. Number 20. Vipome Experiments The knowledge about dental care and hygiene has been developing for quite some time before we got to where we are today. In Sweden, in 1945, scientists shared an interest in understanding the quite troublesome tooth decay that they had seen in many of their patients. We were on the trail of some potential reasons for this issue, and we thought it could be sugar that was causing these painful changes. However, since guesses weren't enough, experiments were conducted to discover how eating habits may affect people's health. The unfortunate group of people who belonged to a mental health institution called Vipome were chosen as participants. These people were given sugar to see whether they would experience tooth decay over time. While having a lot of candies and chocolate is definitely something we may occasionally enjoy, this certainly isn't the healthiest of diets, as these mental health patients discovered through time. We have come to the end of this list, showing 20 science experiments that went horribly wrong. Luckily, these and other experiments have taught us that we need to do better and make people's and even animal safety our top priority. We hope you have enjoyed the cases that we have brought you. Thank you for watching.